Sonos has finally released their most requested product ever, the Sonos Ace headphones. I was lucky enough to get my hands on a pair of these headphones and experience them for a short amount of time before making this review. However, not all of the features were ready yet, so for this video, I'll give you a brief overview of them and how I thought they sounded. We do plan on doing a lot more testing, so if you want a more in-depth review, be sure you're subscribed and keep an eye out for that in the future. Now, if there are any other questions or features that you want us to try out and test, drop a comment down below and we will do our best to test and cover all of them. All right, the Sonos Ace headphones are over the ear closed back headphones and will be available on June 5th for $449. If you wanna be among the first to get these headphones in your hands, you can pre-order yours right now at audioadvice.com. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Now, my first impression when opening them from their soft touch case was that the design seemed to be a mix between Apple AirPod Maxes and Sony XM5 headphones, but in a slimmer package. I was super impressed with the build quality and overall feel of the ear cushions, the hinge-free headband, and even the outer shell. They weigh 312 grams or 11 ounces, which is a bit more than the XM5s, giving them a more solid and premium feel. The ones I tested were in a beautiful soft white colorway, but they're also available in a matte black version as well. The headband is connected to the ear cups with a stainless steel arm that I think accents the black and soft white colors really nicely. I also loved the smooth adjustability of making the headband bigger, and you also have a bit of play in the ear cups to move them in and out to make them perfectly fit any head shape. The overall design and style of these headphones are super clean, low profile, and minimalist looking. The lightweight headband and ear cushions are memory foam lined and wrapped in incredibly soft and durable vegan leather. I didn't get a chance to test wearing them for multiple hours, but usually I can tell if a headphone will be comfortable based on the weight distribution, the softness of the ear cups, and the clamping force of the headband. Now after some initial testing and moving around while wearing them, I think that these were some of the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn. They had enough clamping force that they didn't easily fall off my head, and they created a good acoustic seal around my ears, but not too much that it would bother me if I were wearing them for multiple hours. Now, another neat feature Sonos added was making the inside of the right ear cup a different color so you can very easily determine how to put them on. I've also noticed that some other brands will make you search for the right and left indicators, and even though it may seem like a small annoyance to find this, it's the little details like that that eventually add up to make the user experience a good or a bad one. So kudos to Sonos for implementing this small feature into their design. Finally, on that left ear cup, you'll find the power and Bluetooth connection button and a USB-C port for charging or listening to your music wired, which has some advantages that we will get into shortly. On the right ear cup, there is a dedicated button that lets you switch between ANC and aware mode and a sliding button that lets you turn up the volume and down the volume and play or pause your music. Now, this may come down to personal preference, but I am a huge fan of the B&W PX8s because they have physical buttons on the ear cups to adjust volume and settings instead of the touch sensitive swiping feature that some headphones have. So I was really excited to see these dedicated tactile buttons on the Sonos Ace headphones instead of the touch sensitive ones. Now, being able to easily find the buttons while wearing them made it a breeze to turn the volume up or press the button in to pause my music or answer a phone call. The Sonos Ace headphones have some features that you would expect to see in a headphone of this caliber, but also some unique features that are exclusive to Sonos. First, Sonos uses eight beam-forming microphones that actively listen to your environment to cancel out the outside noise. They also listen to you during calls to isolate your voice and make it even clearer. Now, I tested the active noise cancellation and it was right up there with some of the best I've ever heard for over-the-ear headphones. With the click of a button, I could change into the aware mode, which was equally impressive. It didn't just allow people's voices to pass through, but it seemed like it was actually isolating and amplifying those voices just a bit to make them easier to hear. Here. Now, Sonos claims a 30 hour battery life with ANC on, but we will have to test that a little bit later on. Now, you can also use rapid charging and get up to three hours of listening time with just a quick three minute charge. 
Inside the ACE headphones are custom designed 40 millimeter dynamic drivers that aim to deliver superior precision and clarity. I tested them using their Bluetooth 5.4 and listened to a few different genres. I was really impressed with how deep and fast the bass was, as well as the super clear vocals. The ported bass architecture certainly helped with the low frequencies as well. While I didn't get a chance to connect them to the app, you will be able to adjust the bass, treble, and loudness to your liking in the app if you set them up that way. In addition, if you have a compatible Android phone, you can stream lossless audio through Bluetooth, but I wasn't able to test that as I use an iPhone and don't have that ability. But if you really want the best audio quality, you can simply connect to the USB-C port and use a wired connection to experience lossless audio. This was one reason why we loved the Focal Batiz headphones so much, and we're happy to see Sonos implement this as well. Now, it is important to note that these will not work passively. You do need to have the Sonos headphones turned on. I do want to note that these Sonos headphones do not work with your Wi-Fi Sonos system, which is a feature many people have been asking for. They will only work with Bluetooth, and you can connect them to the app for a few more features, but you cannot implement them to your Sonos Wi-Fi system. All right, these next features will really excite people who are already into the Sonos ecosystem. If you own a Sonos Arc soundbar and a pair of Sonos Ace headphones, you can easily swap the audio from your soundbar to your headphones with just the press of a button. The rest of the soundbar lineup should be able to do this as well in a few future update. Now this will make late night listening a breeze and still provide you with amazing personal audio for watching movies. Plus, Sonos has included intelligent motion processing with Dolby head tracking that dynamically follows your head movement to envelop you in a hyper-realistic listening experience. You may have heard of spatial audio for Apple that you can use Apple AirPods to experience. This is essentially the same idea where you can turn your head left, right, up, and down and hear different sounds coming in all different directions. If there are voices in front of you and you turn your head to the left, the voice will fill your right ear as if they are still right in front of you in the room and keep you centered in that soundscape. It's a really neat effect that we are seeing utilized more and more with spatial audio. You can also use spatial audio tracks available in Dolby Atmos or Sony 360 Reality Audio from Apple Music, Amazon Music, Tidal, and Deezer. Now the next feature is one that really kind of threw us off as we were totally not expecting it at all. It is called True Cinema and will not be available until later this year. Now this technology is going to map your entire room and render a complete surround sound system just for you. Now we don't know all the details just yet, but from what we've seen, this feature is going to allow you to wear a pair of Ace headphones and they will virtually place your speakers all around you in your room and you can actually get up and move around. The headphones will be tracked and put you in the middle of a soundscape as you move throughout your room. Now we don't know a whole lot about this feature or how well it will work just yet, but I'm sure you have just as many questions about it as we do. So leave a comment below and let us know how and what you wanna test when we get access to this feature. All right, I hope this brief overview of these brand new Sonos Ace headphones gave you a good idea of what they have to offer. If you want to be the very first to get them, be sure to pre-order yours today from the link in the description. If you have more questions or suggestions on what you want us to test as more features roll out, leave us a comment down below and let us know. And if you want to be the first to know about product releases just like these, make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Now, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Next time.